Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. <clears throat> Good times for all here or uh, Zachary Zabala if you prefer. It is about 5.30 a.m. I've been up about, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes. I got my gyroscope last night. It is a very cool instrument. Um, comes with a nice little box carrying case. I wanted to show you some of the things that you can do with this thing. It is just, it's amazing. There you go, not too heavy. Airplane, aluminum the outer shell, brass wheel, precision bearings, comes with the motor, it gets it up to, it says 12,000 RPMs, I did not get the tachometer yet, it comes with a gimbal set, you can do all sorts of neat stuff, I'll show you the paper on that. motor so I'm gonna put this gimbal together and pull that out and get it set up and we're gonna do our first experiment here all right I'll be back in a minute all right everybody we're uh, back again here I got my watch set up in about 45 seconds I'm gonna well in about a minute and 45 seconds I gave myself some time I wanted to explain this um, I've been playing with it a little bit couldn't help it um, spun it up noticed the procession and found this little piece right here inside the uh, gimbal kit and it actually is I believe it is the counterweight for this thing right here because it does it is off a little bit um, without it but with it it'll stay exactly where you put it so I think that's the counterweight everybody's saying they don't have I just kinda threw it on there to see what it did and it seems to do the trick um, we got about a um, 55 seconds here so um, I'm gonna set this down for one second well, yeah, 45 seconds. Yeah, I'm going to start spinning it up here. Um, Okay, it looks like I have to take out this counterweight to get the motor on. So I'll have to apply that after. Where I am spinning it up. It's a little motor right here. You can hear it. It takes a second. Looks like I went over already about 15 seconds. I'm going to spin it up. <clears throat> About 15 more seconds here. Try to get to the max spin. My last one was 23 seconds, or 23 minutes, 23 seconds. Yeah, I'm going to go another, so we'll just say it starts at a minute after. Um, because it climbs for a while. It's amazing how long it takes to actually get up to speed here. So about 15 more seconds, I'm going to pull it off and we'll get it set up and it about sounds like it's maxed out. Five, four, three, two, one. And then we will put our little counterweight in. 
and we are set. There we go, with that side down this time. And as you can see, that counterweight will kind of get it set up to where it doesn't process anymore, even with that end on the bottom. Because usually this was a little heavier, so it was dragging it one way or another, whichever way it wasn't perfect. I mean, it's got to be perfectly balanced in order for the uh, for it to stay in one position. Okay, so we started it. It's been going for a minute now since I pulled it off a minute and 10 seconds um, And we'll go from there remember it started a minute after But yeah, we're just gonna I'm gonna do this this I guess it's, you could call it an experiment. I just like to Check the consistency if it'll spin 23 minutes, and it wasn't 23 minutes of actual, you know, where it was creating any type of force. That only maybe lasted, I don't even know, maybe 8 minutes. And then the rest was really, it, these bearings are amazing. I work with a lot of bearings at work. Um, and they're all... It's all expensive stuff. I mean, we're dealing with really, really expensive machinery, and you don't want to pay $4 million for a machine and then have something break because the bearing was garbage, you know? But yeah, these are great bearings. And notice they've gotten quieted already. But it's really neat how the gyroscope fights the force that it creates. It wants to stay in that position. So this is just going to be a quick one. I'll hold the camera here. I'm probably going to fast forward it if I can get my video editor to do that. I'll fast forward through a lot of this stuff. Um, from right here out. But I mean, as you can see, this thing is not, it's not moving at all. And you can still hear it. Let's see if I can't get that set up for you there. And I'm just going to sit here, folks. I, I don't know. I guess I could show you some of the other little knick-knack things I got. Um, really don't want really to mess with the gyroscope too much. See, I have a little flashlight here with a magnet on the bottom. And I got this right here a magnetic field viewer this side up to get all that now Watch this, this is really neat. I gotta get that glare out of there. And 
you lay it down flat and it they have really big ones of these which I really want to get but they were out of stock I'll be getting one here as soon as I get more in but I just think this is really neat I don't know. Pretty neat stuff. Then I got a few prisms, a couple prisms, I should say. We're gonna be playing with. There's all kinds of neat stuff you can do with these things. My laser should be here in a few days. Still got... Where are we at here? Remember we started a minute after, so we're coming up to seven minutes here. And there is still some force left in it where it wants to fight to stay there. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the counterweight. As you can see, we can set it straight up. And it doesn't move at all, it's not processing. I'm sure some people are saying, oh, it's just perfectly balanced to go against the, the movement of the earth because they're trying to fool you all. Ha ha ha. Some ridiculous garb like that. I mean, nobody has ever recorded this moving, folks. You think if the experiment worked, a scientist would want to be the first to visu visually record this and show other people? Why haven't they? Okay, I'm going to get off that. And then I have another prism here. I believe this is a 60 degree. 45 and a 60. You can do different things with them. Pretty neat. So, once my laser gets here... We will be experimenting with prisms and light going through them and light going through different gradients of liquid and I would like to get different gases but we'll see. We will see what we can do. Working on a limited budget here so okay we're at 10 minutes now almost still have the force it is still fighting to stay in its position can still hear it but yeah sorry about that folks the water pump sign when I'm down here I usually have the doors open in the winter time because of the heat it gets colder down here in my mad scientist laboratory. It's funny, the people at work are saying, oh great, you're going to be working on something like a coal fusion reactor or something, you're going to bring it in and blow up the whole building. They get a kick out of all my little... whatever you want to call them. Alright, we're at uh, 10 minutes now. And it still has the force. 
I'm just gonna call it the fart. I gotta find out. We'll look into all that stuff. Start studying this stuff more. But yeah, I think that is the counterweight, folks. There's just a little nub that comes with it right here. It's also used to balance the string on right there. You can get to move up and down the string. It's it's pretty neat stuff. But um yeah, I believe that is the counterweight. It weighs it out. It looks pretty much perfect. Um We're coming up on 11 minutes here, and we still have that force. And there's still a little bit left, you can feel it, but it's really dying down now. But yeah, I'm about positive that is the counterweight right there. And it looks like we might be out of force, yeah. Okay, so not bad. Just at about... Well, 12 minutes, 10 seconds right now. So, I'm happy. I'm very happy. They say they are precise instruments. And now, for the next, I bet, 11 minutes, it'll still keep spinning. Um, I'll fast forward through this part here for you, too. You could listen to me ramble if you want. But, um... Yeah, it was 23... Over 23 minutes last time. I'll show you another little novelty toy. That I decided to... Get for my nieces and nephews. Um... Some mirror scope, or I think that's what they called it. But it looks like you can grab this right here, and it's not really there. My finger just goes right through it. Pretty neat how it all works. The object is actually down in there with mirrors all around it. Here, I'll show you real quick. It's just a mirrored surface mirrored surface concave on both of them and it just makes the object appear like it's on top you do have to be looking at a certain angle you can't like go down below it and think that it's still gonna appear there you have to be looking down upon it but when you look down upon it, it really does look like you can just reach out and but it's there's nothing it's just a hole Pretty neat stuff. I want to show my niece and nephew. Nieces and nephews. Niece and nephews, I should say. And we are still spinning. Coming up on 15 minutes here in about 30 seconds. And you can definitely start to see... Even when you can see the revolutions going around and watch it, though... Like right now, it's still going kind of, kind of fast. You can't really make it out. Um, I put a couple of fingerprints on it, so I can judge the speed. But even when spinning at really low RPMs, it spins forever. Hello, there, beautiful. I know. Okay. Sorry, everybody. One of my cats. 
Want some loving. Okay, hold on, baby girl. Okay, hold on. But yeah, I'm very happy with it. It comes with, uh, and the gimbal kit has all other kinds of things we can do. Um, it comes with some more parts and counterweights and the string and, uh, let's see here. I'm going to get out this piece of paper and show you all the different things that they say you can do. I did move it and spin it around quite a bit this time. I didn't do that at all last time. I'm sure that has an effect on how long it's going to spin. And you're putting that tension on the bearings. Just by moving it and it fighting in an opposite direction will slow it down. Oh, we're coming up on... going to be 17 minutes here in about 30 seconds. Alright, of course you've seen that one. That's the one I just showed you. The original setup. But then... Demonstrating gyroscopic forces using the super precision with gimbals. Oh, configuration one. Uh, configuration two. That's going to be a neat one. With it balancing. It says to start with just the first one and get it to balance on that. And eventually you work your way up to sticking out on a pole that far. Will be very cool. Once I'm able to do that. So it takes some practice. On the string, you can move it back and forth. That's going to be a neat one to show. This one will show procession. Um, I'm thinking, if I'm thinking correctly, I can put these on both sides. One on each side and then one with the counterweight to counteract that one weight. And it should show if anything processes. We're going to use this, though, to mark. Hmm. I may have to get another gimbal kit. And that would really help. Because the further away you are from it, like, you know, the bigger a degree would be. A degree is very small when it's very, you know, when we're talking about the degree of this wheel from one degree. But when you make the wheel, you know, the size of the azimuthal equidistant map, then, the, you know, a degree moves is much bigger, much further. Miles upon miles upon miles, you know. 69 miles at the equator, or whatever. Okay, and then we have... This one with the counterweight. It says there is a difference. Now six shows the balance. Ooh. That's gonna be a neat one. But everything we see here, they give you the pieces to do. So I already have all this stuff to uh, gyroscopic forces are transferred. Huh. And then if you get two gyroscopes, you can see how they counteract with each other. So pretty cool. Really cool stuff. Um, I am never going to get that one, folks. Not unless I inherit a lot of money or something. And I mean, they're it's not super duper expensive like Beyond, but this is not my job by any means. I'm doing this to find the truth. 
as you can see it's still moving and you can watch it go around now and we're coming up on 21 minutes in about 30 seconds and remember I was moving it around a lot the time I did it by myself I didn't move it at all but I am pretty happy very impressed they said precision crafted and I mean I work with a lot of things that have to be down to a couple hundredths of an inch I know how hard it is to get things like that and to be down to the thousandths of an inch or a thousandth of a gram the way they are and we're almost there like I said it's amazing how long they spin with very little force behind them stopped and that was about 45 seconds so that time it was 22 minutes and 45 seconds we almost got to 23 minutes so yeah I'm very happy both times I've tested the uh, longevity of the rotation that it gets and both times were over 20 minutes over 22 minutes actually that was um I don't know if they mind me plugging them or showing this on a video but I'm gonna do it anyway uh, I got this from gyroscope.com educational toys and gadgets all of these little trinkets um, very reasonably priced the gyroscope was a little expensive but the prisms and the card those were all under six dollars I believe each um, the one illusion the mirror scope was maybe ten or eleven dollars something like that not not pricey at all I mean very reasonable so um, if you're looking for any signs and they have all kinds of neat stuff in there it's not just this kind of stuff so um, if you're looking to do some experiments or just check stuff out with science and magnets and things like that um, go check out gyroscope.com it's a pretty neat site so that's it folks um, got the gyroscope gonna be doing all kinds of neat stuff and um, I'm gonna get out of here but this is good times for all Signing out. Thanks for watching.